Greetings, and welcome to another edition of Odin Wright's Shit. Today, I have for you another paper gauntlet. Uh, this is the other pad that I got, or the first pad, I don't remember when I'm posting this, but... That I got in my jet pens haul. This is the Life Airmail pad. And this is like a A5 size? I don't know. Uh, it's not normal standard American letter size, it's the, like, one slightly under it. I think it's A5. I'll have to double check that. But anyway, this is the Life Airmail paper. I'm gonna tell you right now, I don't like this paper. I had the opportunity to use some of this paper in a letter, and it was... Ugh. I'll show you why. Anyway, but basically, um, it's kind of a cute paper. It's super, super thin. Like, this is a pack of 50, minus whatever I use for my letters. Um, and it is a lot like transfer paper. It's basically tracing paper, but really, really thin, really, really transparent, really, really transparent. You can see my flashlight underneath this paper. It's pretty, pretty wow. I like the texture, though, which upsets me a lot. But, I mean, it's kind of cute. It's got the stencils on the first pad, the vertical Japanese writing, and then horizontal uh, Western writing. So you can tear it out and stick it underneath. Let's see, I'll show you that. So you basically tear this out and stick it underneath so you can have nice neat lines and just look, you can practically see that as if I didn't have anything underneath it. And I think that's only one sheet, but yeah. This one is akin to the Tomo River kind of paper, so if you enjoy Tomo River you might like this, but it is not good for fountain pens. And I will show you that right now. Very smooth though. Feathers like a motherfucker. Like, eh. Look at all that feathering. That is a medium point, and yeah, the properties tend to be a little bit on the juicy side, but I did not have good results with the, um, with a uh, fine point either. This is basically my pace line, and if it doesn't work here, I use mediums most of the time, so if it doesn't work here, I'm not going to want to use it. I mean, this is, take a look what it does with my more juicier cross. As soon as it tries to behave, I had this problem last time, there we go. Ah! It beads quite a bit before it dries. It's it's really... I don't know if you can see the shininess. You can see the shininess before it actually dries. It's pretty bad. And it feathers quite a bit. Yeah. Ugh, just... You. No. It does work very, very, very nicely with regular ballpoints, and um, so if you enjoy letter writing with those, this is just smooth as fuck, but it definitely leaves imprints. And I'm also, the, the paper kind of like shrinks in itself in bunches, so I'm afraid of like tearing it. Especially on the used side of paper, so, um, yeah. Uh, one thing I found that works really, really good on is paper mate flares. These are right really, really cool and beautifully. And really nicely, and this is actually what I end up giving up. <laughs> I end up giving up and writing my letter in entirely in paper make flares. But this does have texture issues. I don't know if you can actually see, but you can definitely see the imprints of my previous letter, and that's just on a paper mate flare. This is a felt tipped pen. I should not be leaving imprints from a felt tipped pen. But it was a pretty cheap pad. I will leave the price somewhere, anywhere, but let us continue on. Oh god, I'm, I'm actually really hesitant to do this. On a 
Um, mechanical pencil. Well, it's not too bad. Um, I do feel that it's weakening in the darker areas, so that if I had to add an extra texture or whatnot, this will probably tear. And the paper is kind of collecting and bunching up as I'm writing with it. So this probably will tear if you are a little too rough with it. Like, you can hear it, too. See, like, over here, it's fine. But then over here, it sounds like crinkling tissue paper. Which, because it probably is tissue paper, pretty much. Anyway, let's try erasing it. <laughs> oh, God. That is so fragile, and it kind of, like, bleeds everywhere, so it doesn't really get clean, per se. And I really feel like I'm going to tear this if I'm not careful. I don't want to do that. Alright. I'm not sure if I should bother, but let's try some uh, calligraphy, I guess. Oh god. The feathering. I'm trying really quick with this. Yeah, I can get away with it if I write real quick, but when you're doing calligraphy, you don't write real quick. Ugh. And then some of this mess, which we all know probably was gonna happen with that. Oh god! Looks really pretty and looks really cool. But, uh, that is wet. Alright. That's enough of that. And finally, the permanent marker, which I have no hope for this whatsoever. This one isn't feathering, but it's doing this weird, like, almost implantation thing, uh, as if, like, I dyed it or something, and it's permanently fixed to it, which is interesting. Weird texture thing. It does kind of look a little bit transparent, which is kind of cool. This paper kind of reminds me of those coloring books that have the stained glass coloring books that have the little plastic sheets as pages, and you draw in them with markers, and they look really, really cool. But yeah, that is the final gauntlet. Let's uh, see what horrors we have. Well, actually, huh. Despite all that feathering and all that abuse, I don't have that much transfer between the pages. I have this little blurt here from the paintbrush, but look at all that imprinting. Oh my god. <laughs> and yeah, we cannot, absolutely not use that for uh, double-sided writing, because, wow, just look at that, yeah. Ew. But that, that transfer really, really surprises me, because, yeah, I don't, I have a few splotches, but nothing, like, damaging. But, like I said, it's really, really good for ballpoints, it's really, really good for, um, paper mate flares, but if you want to use this for fountain pens, look somewhere else. This is not a fun time for anybody. It sounds nice, though. Look at that sound. I could totally do an ASMR video with one of these things, and that would be fun. Yeah, sprinkle thing. Anyway, that is my impression of the airmail, life airmail, notepad, paper. Have you guys tried this one out? See, look at how freaking transparent that is. Anyway. Have you guys tried this paper out? Let me know what your impressions are down below. And of course, if there's anything that I need to be trying out right now, feel free to leave me a comment down below, and I will see you next time.